Sicked Women, also known as Cell Block Girls, also known as Thunder County, is a 1974 exploitation film directed by Chris Robinson and starring Carol Locatell, Anya Armsby, Dee Dee Bradley, Phyllis Robinson, Chris Robinson, Ted Cassidy, and Mickey Rooney. The film opens with an airplane. Hi, guys. Oh, he's good. Is this dubbed? He sounds dubbed. Florida! And we go straight to the women's prison showers. What are you girls doing? Well, it's hot. You girls know the rules. That's your room. Aren't they cells? Well, shit, I guess they are rooms. No fucks given. There's a beating, then there's a little bit of a rap session. Get it all together, Liz. You'll find me more than understanding. She makes a play for some ass, which of course she has to extort for some strange with a haircut like that. Meanwhile, we go back to the initial plot with Victor and some cash. Boom, Mike. There's a call, and then Ted Cassidy gets fucking paranoid. They set up a deal for tomorrow, and Victor drops the cash off in the safe. I'm not being obvious. I'm not being obvious. <laughs> Did they just switch bags? Cat five. <laughs> There's some voice work right there. She's dead, Jim. I'm getting the fuck out of here. That may be the weakest neck break I've ever seen on film. Oh shit, she has a piece. Stealth. Then there's more stealth as we watch all the escapees going down the prison laundry chute. Okay. Way to go, way to go. That's some positive motivation. Then they leave. They stop for some gas and it's Mickey Rooney. Damn, this place is like a Bucky's. Oh no, the fuzz. The cop realizes the car is the one they're looking for and starts asking some questions. Four convicts escaped from a women's prison, and they killed a deputy superintendent. Ah, oh, you don't say. Then the cop immediately leaves without informing anyone that they found the vehicle they're looking for. They load up the boat and set sail, immediately making Mickey Rooney walk the plank. Tick tock. Meanwhile, in the mob movie... Morning, officer. Anything wrong here? Out in the swamp, it turns out that the escapees didn't bring gas with them. Shit, you might as well use that car as a boat. <laughs> Fucking fan boat, yes! They dock and who the fuck is this mysterious stranger hanging out in the swamp with his pets? Ooh, a woman! Well, look at here! <laughs> yeah. Well, shit, you might as well keep the creep factor going. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, thank 
thank God. Oh boy, more guns! You gonna love this. Feel real nice. Got something for you special. <laughs> yeah, it's antifreeze. And finally, the plots merge. Where'd the ladies go? <laughs> yeah, constantly. <laughs> See, I don't give him a hand, eh? Help him shit? Ted Casty discovers some panties, and the henchmen go searching for the convict women. What's that, bro? Maybe the hermit wears them. Or maybe he hit the fucking lottery and got some action. Who knows? But there are no pussy cats here now, right? Oh, man. Oh, no. You, you know better than that. You know I never bring nobody here. You know that. That's not a lie. They just showed up. Hey, buddy! Convenient! Fucking spiders. The henchman comes back and they dogpile his ass. Busted. Uh, I don't know them. Fuck! A sheriff's helicopter is exactly what this drug deal needs. Mickey Rooney must have fucking squealed. The drug deal gets delayed until the next day and Ted Casty decides they need to kill the women. Then they start breaking into couples. Whoa! You've been lurched, baby. Once again, a poor VHS rip so we can't see shit. Thank God it's daylight. Nope, it's still night. Continuity! Holy shit! Are we sure this time? Hey, wanna make out? Uh, he's moving. Ted Casty decides, fuck it, I want the money now, and oh. Toilet paper, Vic! All of it! Name's Paul Skamaka. Narcotics is one thing, but killing a federal agent is something else. And the chase starts. The convicts join the fight and more chasing. We're going to milk that beautiful chopper footage. Go ahead. 10 for. Get you down. 10 for. 1051. Unanswered grass. Let's go, boss. What about breakfast? We all knew that was going to happen. No scope! Ah, she shot me in the man titty. Another chopper shows up and Ted Casty gets to it. What a beautiful escape. They must have doused that chopper with kerosene before it took off. And they lived happily ever after. Even though she had to serve another 10 years for being involved in the murder of the guard with the terrible haircut. For an exploitation film, convict women does have much exploitation in it. Mickey Rooney must have lost a bet, but he got top billing for his 5 minutes in the thing, probably because people have heard of Mickey Rooney. This film is more a crime film about a drug deal that happens to have some escaped female convicts in it. It's a dull vanilla film I get the feeling was a second feature to White Lightning on the drive-in circuit. White Lightning is a great fucking movie. Convict Women is forgettable crap. And have a little romance. <laughs>